guys, Palak Geek here with a real quick update about this old computer I found on eBay. So it's just a Windows CE 1.0 handheld PC. It's a compact C140, same as the uh, Cassiopeia A10 and 11, I believe. Um, it does work. It's in very good cosmetic condition, but unfortunately, it did not include a battery, and that's why it was sold as for parts not working. It actually works great. It just doesn't have a battery. So I'm going to try to 3D model my own battery compartment for this. Uh, it's kind of convenient that these did originally take double A's, but the battery compartment for the double A's is basically impossible to find. So we'll see what I can do about it. So here's my first revision of the part. It did mostly fit, except for the fact that uh, I had to cut this area out because I neglected to account for some tabs on it. But here's the most current revision of it. Um, it's got some parts on the side for battery tabs, which I ordered off Amazon and should just stick right in there, easy peasy. Everything mostly fits except for that. Uh, I'm going to have to change some clearances on these tabs here because it doesn't quite click in. Um, but yeah, the tolerances are mostly fine, so I think we'll get it working. It's so crazy to me too, just like, this used to be small and pocketable back in 1997, but here's my modern laptop sitting at far thinner than this thing. Now I know there's probably not going to be a whole lot of people who have a need for one of these battery packs, um, but I will probably have the files for this on Thingiverse. And then um, I might maybe make a couple extras and just sell them on my website. Because um, if there are people out there who have a who need for a battery for one of these, I mean there really is nowhere else you can get one of the battery packs. So this is the resulting final version. I just used some uh, standard battery tabs off Amazon and uh, just used some other little tabs to extend it for these side parts. Um, it pretty much looks what I assume to be like the original one. The fit is just about perfect. It fits very tight in the slot, and uh, the latches don't seem to want to come off. And it looks pretty good on the on the device. So while it does work as intended, unfortunately it's a Windows CE 1.0 device, and I don't have any of the cables for it, so that makes it almost kind of useless. Of course, being a nerd who's into retro computers, uh, I love having it just around to play with, but there's not really a whole lot I can do with it. Unfortunately, I can't see myself finding any sort of real-world usage out of this. Perhaps it could be used as a basic offline password manager or distraction-free writing device, but it's just a little bit too bulky to justify carrying everywhere, and the keyboard's terrible to type on. While I can see a purpose back in the day, I think it just doesn't provide enough benefits from the form factor. The keyboard's too small to be realistically usable for touch typing, yet too large to thumb type. I did get somewhat used to it, but it's still a terrible, tiny, mushy mess. Maybe I'll keep it by my bedside to jot notes, as the dim screen wouldn't be so blinding at night. Another hurdle is getting anything on or off this device. The serial port uses this mystery connector, and the original cables seem quite hard to come by for a reasonable price. Though I could try using the infrared port. Well, thanks for watching my little uh, mini-adventure in trying to get a battery pack working for this thing. Uh, all in all, it turned out pretty good. Uh, it's not really a usable device nowadays, but that's not really what matters. What matters was, well, I like old computers and I think it's fun. So if you have one of these old devices and you're looking desperately for a battery pack for one, uh, check the links in the description. I'll have everything you need on Thingiverse for that. Or if you don't have a 3D printer, uh, you can always contact me and maybe we can work something out. I can run a small batch of prints for them. Um, so hopefully you like this video. If you like it, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, if you want, uh, leave comments on what you thought about it or if you've got other ideas for things I should buy or try to play around with. Um, so, as always, thanks for watching.